Let's be honest, new knife releases are always exciting for us knife nerds. And what I'm talking to you about today is the newest release from the James brand. If you're a knife nerd or part of the EDC community, you're probably familiar with the James brand. They make really, really good EDC pocket knives that are like the mid tier price range, sort of between like 75 and 300 bucks is their kind of thing. And what they've just released is their latest addition to the Elko and Ellis slip joint family of their knives. This is the Ellis Slim. The most recent update, as I said, to their Elko and Ellis family. And this is the thinnest knife they've ever made. Honestly, in your pocket, this, this is thinner than a pack of gum. Look at that, look how thin that is. It's absolutely tiny. So it fits in your pocket and you do not even realize it's there. And the fact that it's a two hand operation slip joint means that all you unlucky bastards in the UK that have stupid knife laws, you're allowed to carry this in your pocket with no questions asked, which is incredible because I think the UK has just added a new law, which means that flippers, whether or not they lock, are illegal. So the Civivi Foldis is potentially now illegal, even though I just made a video on that saying that it's one of the best, if not the best UK legal knife. No longer, but back to talking about this. First and foremost, the James brand are not paying me at all to say anything about these knives. If I hate them, you know, I'll be honest. But I love this, they were released about a week ago now, I was using it for about a week before that and it hasn't left my pocket since it arrived because it's honestly, for me, being in America right now, I can carry whatever I want essentially. So for, for when I'm over here, this is the perfect secondary knife. It fits perfectly in my left pocket, takes up no space whatsoever. Don't generally like having anything in my left pocket other than my wallet and maybe a Zippo. But where this is so thin and minimalist, I don't even realise it's there. The blade on this knife is a 2.6 inch drop point 12C27 blade. It's not a steel I'm familiar with at all. I don't think I've ever had a knife that's made out of this steel. So that's something I have to come back to in future and let you know how it is. But so far, it's sharp and it's been holding an edge. I've used it a lot since I got it, probably more than my main knife recently, just purely to test this out and see how good it is. And it's holding the edge well, so I cannot complain at all. They do three different variations in this knife. There's the one that I've been carrying since I got it because I just wanted to put one in my pocket and test it out and see how it is. And that's this gold colored aluminium and sort of standard steel color. And I really like this. It kind of fits in with what I normally carry, which is a lot of brass. So this goldy color kind of just fits with the colors that I tend to go for. Then they've got this other one, which is like a coyote tan color with G10 scales. And this one, as you can see, has a black coated serrated blade, which isn't something I'm normally familiar with. I don't generally tend to go for a serrated blade because I don't have a use for them. I generally go for a straight edge, but I'm gonna carry this one soon and I'm gonna see how I like it. I just can't really see why I would need a serrated edge. So personally, I'd prefer if this was just a straight edge, but some people like a serration. So that one is nice. Really, really like the colors on this. It looks really good. So I think that's gonna go in the pocket soon. And then the last one they do that they sent me was this one. It's an all blacked out version or murdered out, whatever you wanna call it. G10, blacked out. And this one also has the serrated blade, but it's also got a pair of scissors on there. So it's like the perfect little minimalist multi-tool. The scissors are great. I've tested these ones out. I'd say they're probably about the same as what you get on a Swiss Army knife. And Swiss Army knife scissors are fantastic. So. This is really good. This one might even actually go in the pocket. This one is just a little bit thicker because of having the scissors. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that being in the pocket because it's not as thin as the other two. Each of them have got this lanyard loop at the top, which I'll never use as a lanyard loop because it's got better uses than that. It's actually designed so it can be like a flathead screwdriver or a pry -in tool or a scraper or whatever. And I've used it many, many times already. And for all you guys out there that are photographers, because I know there's gonna be photographers watching this, this is the perfect size for tripod plates. And we all know what a nightmare it is, trying to find something to screw your tripod plates on with. So if you keep this in your pocket, it's pretty much legal everywhere in the world, you'll be fine. It's perfect for it. So just for that alone, it's worth the money. They're selling for between $99 and $109, depending on which one you get. I'm not sure how much the one with the scissors is, but I feel like it might be a little more expensive just for the extra additional tool on there. So it's a decent price and you're getting a lot for your money because it can be carried anywhere. Multiple uses, especially if you get the blacked out one with the knife, the serration, the scissors, 
and the tool on the top, you're getting four very, very decent tools in something the size of a pack of gum. Like literally, it's so good to just have in your pocket or in a pouch or in a bag or anything. I cannot stress that enough. It says on the website that they're right-handed carry and right-handed operation, but what I find is with the positioning of the clip and the blade, it actually works better personally for a left-hander. Let me explain that. If you're taking a knife out of your right pocket, let me show you this one. You take it out and you're holding it like this basically, which means it's in the perfect place to flip it open and you don't have to fiddle around with anything. You can just take it out, flip it. Whereas on this one, the blade is on the opposite side. So if you take it out of your right pocket, there's no way to open it straight like that. You have to flip it around and then open it. Whereas if you take it out of your left pocket, the blade's automatically at the bottom and you can open it nice and easy, no fiddling around or anything like that. So that's why I seem to be favoring putting it in my left pocket. That's not saying that right-handed people can't use it. It's just not as fluid with opening as it would be for a lefty. It also has a deep carry clip. It's a wire clip. So it's nice and tough, but not too tough that it's gonna tear your pockets up. It just sits in there, nice and deep, nice and tight, but very easy to get in and out. It's a very slidey clip, we'll say. And for all of you people that are fussy like me, yes, it is tip up carry. None of this tip down bollocks, we don't like that. I don't know why anyone wants to carry tip down. It just doesn't make sense to me. So tip up, deep carry, fantastic little knife. Now, if you made it to the end, you're in luck because I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away three of these knives. One in gold, one of the all blacked out G10 with the scissors and the Coyote Tan. To enter this competition, all you have to do is go over to my Instagram, go to the photo that I posted today, like it and comment on it, tag in a friend, follow me and follow the James brand. That gets you one entry. But for additional entries, you can add extra comments and every comment with a person tagged is an extra entry into the giveaway and it's unlimited. You can enter as many times as you want. So if you have 3000 friends, tag them all you're probably gonna win because I'm not gonna get 3,000 comments on my video or my photos, but you get the idea. The competition will be going until the 30th of April, so it'll be last until the end of this month and the winner will be announced on the 1st of May. So, good luck. Go over to my Instagram, make sure to do all the things and enter the competition and you might be in luck and you might win one of these. If you're in the UK, you want one because they're legal. Finally, a good UK legal knife that they hopefully are not gonna change rules on like they did with the flipper shit. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it. I hope you like this video. Quick little rundown on these knives that they've just released. Better reviews coming soon, like more in depth after a few months of using it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and good luck in the competition. Do the rest of the YouTube stuff and I'll see you later.